Hey, Tom here for Aperture Chat. Today we're going to be looking at the Mi Photo 64-inch tripod. I picked mine up recently at Hunt's Photo and Video here in Providence. Uh, I picked up the aluminum one, around about 209. Uh, you also can pick up a carbon fiber version for 369. So, this is a very light and sturdy tripod. In fact, I went into the store expecting to buy a Manfrotto setup, and I ended up walking out with this. The head's rated to 26.2 pounds, and it's perfectly capable of holding up a Canon 6D with a 7200 or a 2470 lens on it. So set all the way up, it stands 64 inches tall, which when you add in the height of the head, add in another three inches, you can set the camera up all the way up here. It actually sets it up higher than I can see because as you can see, I'm about 64 inches tall. So I actually, to use this all the way up involves going like this or setting it in live view. And that's just entirely hilarious to watch. Uh, all compacted up though, with the head flipped up underneath, it's only about 16 inches tall, which makes it perfect to add to a sling bag or any other backpack that has a tripod mount on the outside. Personally, I keep it with the head up when it's up on my bag, so you add these four inches back in, still only 20 inches tall, which is great for carrying around. So I said it's light. This is the aluminum version, just over four and a half pounds. I think the spec says 4.8. 562 or something like that. They get really technical on the website. Uh, if you're really extremely weight conscious, like you're taking a backpacking or you're going, you know, taking it on luggage and you need to get that extra pound out, you can buy the carbon fiber version. It is about a pound less in weight. But honestly, I carry this around on my sling bag and I don't even realize it's there. Uh, I mean, I've swung my bag off my shoulder and smacked it into my car more than once and it definitely uh, is durable enough to take that abuse because the car has lost that battle more times than I can count. But light. One of the features that I absolutely have fallen in love with with this, uh, this tripod and head setup is the Arca Swiss plate. Now it's got a little safety feature. This is not coming off. So is a four knob ball head the first one is the lock. I can open it all the way up. I can take the plate in and out, lock it in. It's not going anywhere. The next one that I want to show you is the pan knob, which is the bottom smaller one over here. And you can see on the front here, there's a marker and you have five degree increments going around. So if you're taking panoramas or doing any hyperlapse or anything kind of exciting like that, you actually have markers you can work off of. The next two work in conjunction, the two larger ones, and they control, the larger one locks your one in, the smaller one gives you tension so you can actually move more slowly or less slowly as you're going around. And that helps if you're doing anything where you need to pan, but you need to pan vertically, you can kind of just lock it in and then as you push the camera, it gives you resistance so you don't just, boom, flap down like that. So there's one last feature that I just, can't get enough of with this tripod. And that's the fact that it's not just a tripod. See, you take this leg off and you can tell it's the right one because it's got the foam on it. And I can take the bottom out of the, this here, and all this does is keep this from flying out when I do this. Yeah, I did that on purpose, don't worry. Uh, there we go. And boom, monopod. Also a baseball bat. Don't use it as a baseball bat. If you're looking for a good, sturdy, heavyweight, as far as the head, not heavyweight as in carrying it around, tripod, and you're not quite ready, ready to shell out 500 bucks for a good Manfrotto setup, definitely recommend taking a look at the Mifoto Globetrotter. Like I said, I've got it in aluminum. You can pick it up in carbon fiber, and it's, it's just a great, great tripod. When you're shooting, just ask yourself this, where does your frame stop? If you want to see more videos, more instructionals, make sure you like and subscribe, head over to the Facebook page for Aperture to Pixels, and tune into the Aperture Chat, Aperture Chat podcast every week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button.